Shalom, hi, this is Jerusalem Jane speaking to you from my balcony in Sweden. I just got home. It's a hot day today. We're gonna have a thunderstorm later. You can see it's it's brewing, it's building up for that. But um, this greeting for Shabbat, I'm gonna share a little bit about an event I had today. I was invited to go speak to a group of Christian businessmen here in Sweden and uh, that was just deeply deeply moving i always get a little nervous when i have to go speak to groups and i try to write a little a lot of things down and uh, it just turns out that when i start to speak about my life what happened to me in denmark that brought me to israel why am i in israel what is my assignment here what is god having me do here the whole Israel situation in the world regarding the media to comfort, comfort my people, why the Christians need to wake up and stand with Israel. It just causes out of me. It's just pouring out because it's all inside my heart. So it was just deeply moving to talk to these nice gentlemen today. And you know, I shared how I have said to God, whatever you want me to do, what's the purpose of my life and how God just took me out of everything in Denmark and sent me to Israel to be a voice in world stream media that is so biased when it comes to Israel. And I told them my finest job is to love the Jewish people because they don't feel love. They feel like the whole world is against them. The world is turning against them. So my finest job is to love the Jewish people. I shared about going to the Temple Mount, uh, the whole situation regarding the Temple Mount, how this is God's holy hill. And just really kind of spoke my heart about how we as Christians would have nothing, 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 nothing if it wasn't for the Jewish nation, if it wasn't for the Jewish people. Uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob make a covenant to Israel that will never change. God doesn't lie, God doesn't take, doesn't take anything back. The whole lie and propaganda about Palestine, the Palestinian people. Uh, to try and steal the land from the Jewish people that God has given to them. So I just spoke and spoke and spoke my heart out and I talked about Daphne Meir, the Jewish mother of six who was brutally murdered in her own house in front of her children. And how this is reality for the Jewish people, the terrorist attack, and how we as Christians need to wake up and speak out against it and stand with the Jewish nation. And uh, I always get emotional when I talk about the Jewish people being killed and uh, several of these gentlemen actually had tears running down their face and it was just really moving and, and it's such a privilege to be able to share and educate about Israel and God's the prophecies coming to life how the Bible I got someone working next to me so there's a little bit of a noise but I hope you can hear me but just speaking about how the how the Bible is coming to life in Israel how the covenant to the Jewish people still stands how Israel is a blessing to the whole world so it was just really really moving and uh, they thanked me and they uh, some of them got my business cards they want to follow my work in Israel and two of these uh, elderly gentlemen actually came up and just emptied their wallets and said we need to bless you financially Jane you're only living by donations we need to stand with you so they just emptied their wallets completely into my hands which was just you know it makes me cry it's deeply deeply moving when someone has only met you and they hear you speak for 20 25 minutes and then they just know in their heart you know what we want to stand with her and uh, we want to bless israel through her so thank you to all these nice gentlemen in sweden for giving me time to talk about israel today and i want to say to all of you if you come to israel and you bring a group and you want to have me come speak about my life and the things that I'm facing and why we need to stand with Israel, I would be really, really happy to just email me. When we left and we went through Yudabor, we passed a huge mosque and uh, 5,000 Muslims come together to pray. And it's Friday, it's the big day of prayer. So 5,000 Muslims was just pouring out of this mosque, filling the streets, um, so we couldn't even drive. Uh, that has become everyday life here in Sweden. I was really, really surprised. You know, I felt like I was in some Middle East country. Uh, that was really, really weird. So, uh, yeah, just enjoying my uh, last week in Sweden. I will return back to Israel uh, end of next week. Looking forward to being back home in uh, Jerusalem. Even though people are telling me it's, it's very hot there. <laughs> 
So uh, yeah, uh, Shabbat Shalom from my balcony here in Sweden. Thank you to all the wonderful people who are standing with Israel, who is praying for Israel. I know that I got to educate some of these gentlemen today about things that they don't really know about Israel and, and what they're facing today and how we as Christian owe a lot of gratitude to the new Jewish people and the Jewish nation. We would have nothing if it wasn't for them. So Shabbat Shalom from my beautiful balcony here in Sweden. It's a very hot day. A uh, thunderstorm is brewing up. So uh, let's see what this is, how this is going to end. I love you Israel. It's an honor for me to speak up for you. I told the gentleman it's an honor for me to wake up in Jerusalem, Jerusalem every day. I never, never take it for granted. So I love you Israel. I miss you Yerushalayim. I will see you back sometime next week. Shabbat Shalom. Love and kiss and hugs from Jerusalem, Jane in Sweden. Bye.